Hey viewers, it's Ben Shan. Uh, I'd like to try something new this week, and so check out the new video that I'm going to post after this one on chamber hymns. It's only going to be on chamber hymns, so you got to go there. I'm not going to post it on YouTube, so um, check it out. It's going to be about a contest that all of you YouTubers and chamber hymns viewers can participate in. This is He's a Pirate, Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to play this, or at least how I would play this. It's a very cool piece in 6-8, which has a um, two feel. So you got two beats during the song. So bum ba dum da dum da 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 dum ba dum ba dum ba da 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 However, it also has three beats in some places. dun dun da da dum dun da da dum dun da 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 dum So one, two, one, two, and one, two, three, one, two, three. dun dun da da dum dun da da dum dun da 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 dum So if you've ever done this thing where you um, go So here I got one two three one two three one two three one two three one two one two one two one two. That's also very hard to say and do at the same time, but that's what's happening here. So in the very beginning, so you have this, you know, the the cellos. I didn't mark this, but the first four measures of rest actually have the cellos going. Okay, and um, you come in with the violin part. So one two one two do one two three one two three one two three do do and the way that I'm doing this is I'm tapping my foot in two one two one two and measuring it against so that's how I'm feeling it I'm actually feeling it because you have the dun 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 happening underneath the dun 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 Whew, that's a lot of counting. Okay, so less counting now. I'm just going to play a little bit for you and um, stop where I think that it's appropriate. Okay? Oh, actually, I got to stop there. Um, I also played some wrong notes. The uh, bow technique here is a very short marcato bow. a lot of bow because then you're going to start to skid the sound. Nobody likes that sound. So you want to keep it tight, so small bows, and uh, focused. Keep it focused. So I would probably do it about the uh, bottom third of your bow, so right here. Make sure that it's perpendicular to the string and in between the fingerboard and the bridge. Probably about halfway or a little bit closer to the bridge, okay? open strings, so don't be afraid of playing open strings here, particularly because open strings give a very punchy sound. It makes it stand out, and so you want to draw attention to the melody. yourself, you want to be able to count the rests as you're playing. Particularly, let's go back to um, 41. So you got 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. This is very important in orchestral playing because even when you're practicing by yourself, you need to be hearing the beat because when you get back with the orchestra to practice, they're not going to wait for you or uh, accept your speeding up. So don't rush. Make sure that you count every beat. Every beat has to be counted. Let's go back to um, 65, 66. 
So, so we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and then it goes into two. So, da 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 one da 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 da. That's not true. Actually, it just stays in in three. But then after that, it goes one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, uh, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so this is what I was trying to say. It was at 71, it goes one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's really cool that it just alternates between the two and the three. Let me do it one more time for you. So. That is really, really good composing. Okay, so now that we've gone through that, I did do a little bit of an extension on my fourth finger at measure 80. You can either go to third position if you know how to shift. Actually, I would probably start in 79 on the D on first finger. If you're wondering about shifting, I think I have a couple of shifting videos in chamber hymns too, so check those out. So, so. I'm just going to extend. I don't really know what the best bowing is here. Um, I'm just kind of playing it um, separate bows, so you can decide what you want to do there. Remember, again, you want to keep a focused sound, keep the beat in your head, and really enjoy those um, parts where they go from two to three to two to three. It's just very cool. So I'm going to play it, the whole thing for you, and this you can use as your play along with. Uh, part of the video. And if you want to also go ahead and watch the one on YouTube and play along with it. It's it's pretty fun. Okay? So So again, check out the other video that I've posted on Chamber Hymns about the contest, and I hope that a lot of you enter.